Close to 40% of the homes in our country have a gas stove. Many families who use one are now wondering if they need to tear it out of their kitchen. That's because new research shows more than 12% of childhood asthma cases in our country can be attributed to a gas stove. In today's Your Healthy Family, we're taking that question straight to a pediatrician. Now, it's important to remember that there's a lot of other things that increase the risk of developing asthma, and this is just one of those things. Dr. Christy Ross is a pediatric pulmonologist. She says cooking with gas can release chemicals that irritate a child's airways, just like secondhand smoke or air pollution. In general, we do think that younger children are probably at increased risk whenever they breathe in something that's irritating because they breathe faster uh, and the amount of air that they breathe in relative to the size of their lungs and the rest of their body is a little bit higher than as you get older. Another thing to consider is that usually asthma develops earlier in, in childhood. And most children who are going to have asthma develop it either when they're in the preschool time frame or early school age. She says asthma often starts with a viral infection. There are inherited risk factors too, like a family history of asthma, eczema, and food or environmental allergies. Places like Cleveland, where Dr. Ross is, are part of what's known as the asthma Belt. The prevalence of asthma has been pretty steady over the last 20 to 30 years at around 10 to 12 percent of kids um, having asthma, but those rates are higher uh, where we live. The Asthma and Allergy Foundation of America published a report on asthma capitals, ranking cities across our country based on asthma prevalence, asthma-related ER visits, and asthma-related deaths. It also analyzed factors that influence asthma, like poverty, pollution, pollen count, smoking, and access to specialists. Here in Southwest Florida, Lakeland is number four on the list of asthma capitals in our country, and Cape Coral made it to number 13 because of high rates of asthma and asthma-related ER visits. And Dr. Ross says if a new electric or induction range isn't in your budget, make sure to use ventilation when cooking with gas. So whether that's using a fan in your range hood or opening a window. For Your Healthy Family, I'm Lisa Greenberg. And for more health stories, head to foxfornowcom slash yourhealthyfamily.